everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't know what this is. I'm gonna roll with it. So hello if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. My name is Jess for any newbies, hello. So today's video, very exciting video for me to film. Something that I've kind of wanted to do for a really long time. Basically, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my religion is the religion of sweatshirts. Big, oversized sweatshirts. So today, <laughs> I'm doing an entire video dedicated to sweatshirts. I've got a sweatshirt haul for you. I genuinely don't think I could be more excited by this haul. Let's get serious for a bit. I'm not sure if you guys watched my Primark haul yesterday. I said a little bit about what I would be doing during this very, very weird, horrible time that's going on right now. I know everyone is scared. I know everyone is freaking out. I know it's horrible and everyone's very anxious and I feel exactly the same. I made a decision that I was gonna keep filming. There's been a lot of stuff online just being like, oh, you're just carrying on posting, you don't care about what's going on in the world. I really, really care what's going on in the world. I'm absolutely terrified. I've spent all day kind of freaking out about it, thinking about the people in my life that will be very badly affected. It's all very stressful for me as well as a self-employed person, but, um, blah 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 blah. I just wanted to keep my channel like upbeat and happy and positive and I don't want life to stop just because this horrible thing is going around. I just want to keep my channel a nice little place to be for me and for you guys like it is lonely self-isolating by yourself so I wanted to be able to like chat to you guys every day so yeah I'm gonna carry on filming videos will go up every day every weekday this week and one on Sunday and I hope that's okay with you guys and yeah basically yeah if there's anything you want me to film I've got all day every day at home at the moment so please 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 let me know what videos you want to see in the comments below anyway I don't want to focus on corona anymore I want to talk about sweatshirts I want to talk about sweatshirts with you I have done a massive sweatshirt haul because realistically quite a lot of people are stuck at home at the moment what do you want to wear when you're at home comfy clothing and what am I providing you with a lot of comfy clothing yes we will get started I will link what I'm wearing below I'm literally just wearing like cycle shorts it's the most unattractive look ever I should have put some jeans on but I was like no, no, I wanna get dressed today, I wanna to stay comfy. I've got about 15 sweatshirt, jumper, hoodie vibes to show you, and we will just get trying on. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, we're gonna rattle through them, and I hope you enjoy this. For anyone that's new, I'm about five foot six, well, no, five foot seven, and a size 10. So for sizing, that is what I am. Yeah, is this ASOS? I can't remember where this jumper's from, but like, I've actually tucked it in. It's actually just like a big, plain black jumper. So um, we'll start off with the jumper I was wearing in yesterday's Primark haul, um, which I'm completely obsessed with. It's this champion jumper. Dun, 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 dun. Can you see, is it gonna focus? And on the back, it says New York since 1919. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I buy anything that says New York on it because New York is one of my favorite places in the entire world. So I saw this and I was like, yes, I love it. Got this in a medium and it was 65 pounds. Quite expensive one to start off with, but absolutely love it and I love this brand and I love New York and it's got a hood protection from rain great we are in hoodie number one and the thing I love the most about it is it's got a drawstring here tie it up doodle bow doodle dance don't do a dance don't do a dance love it nice and cropped looks cute with a pair of cycle shorts or leggings and looks so cute with like mum jeans and anything like that the back is really cool can you see love it and then yeah hood oh dear See, if you have a ponytail and you put your hood up, this is what happens, and you just look stupid. <laughs> hoodie number one, we'll move on to hoodie number two, which is this green one. Now, I love this one. This one's from Daisy Street, which do really nice, like, vintage-style jumpers. Oh, it's kind of strangling me a little bit. Oh, it's got a heavy hood, a heavy hood. So, I got this in a size 12, so it's super oversized. It's, like, very vintage -y. looks like you bought it in a vintage shop. It's got a horse on it, and I love animals so much. And it's just cute. I don't have a trusty chair back, guys, but I do have a sofa, so I can show you, like, the length of it. It's going to be huge. So I'm going to try this on and show you. I oversized in this because obviously I have an addiction to oversizing and I got this in a 12 even though it's already an oversized jumper. Someone help me, I have a problem. Big, baggy, slouchy, oversized. Get up here, show you the length if you had it like big and loose and vintagey and cool. I would probably either tuck it in to whatever I was wearing or you can do that kind of tuck here to make it look all cropped and cool and baggy. So I've literally just tucked it into my crop top. Can you see? So you just like flip it under like that. Works with a bra as well. What do you think? I love it, so comfy, so soft. Okay, so this one I'm super excited about. I've wanted this jumper for ages. This is from a brand called Collusion. I have a pair of Collusion denim jeans, which I absolutely love. Now this is from ASOS as well. It is the squidgiest jumper I've ever come across. It's like got bounce in it, it's like a pillow. 
like a bouncy pillow. So it says collusion down the sleeve, which I'll show you when it's on, but I've got this super large, obviously. <laughs> the thing about this brand that I love is it's unisex, so it's like boys and girls, which most hoodies really kind of are. Now this is like something I would wear when I get on a plane or, or I'm just chilling at home, which is realistically what we're all gonna be doing. I got this in a size large. I think the medium was sold out and I didn't want it in a small. So we'll see if this is too big and I'll try on. Oh my God, it's so soft. Oh my God, it's so soft. So it's huge. Obviously I knew that because it's unisex, a large is also gonna fit like a large boy. So it kind of looks like I stole a, you know, a boyfriend's jumper. I don't have a boyfriend, but I have a jumper that looks like I do. I stand up here and show you how big it is and baggy. It looks super cute with cycling shorts actually. Oh, sweet, love it. So yeah, and then obviously you can do the tuck. It's got a pocket here, which I love. Very good for like nice slouchy vibes. You tuck it in under like that. Looks quite cute. I love the sleeve. And then if you are, you know, nice and cute and in a couple and you guys want to match, you can get one of these. And they come in lots of different colors. I can't explain how comfy this is. I'm 100% keeping this. I love this. Oh my God. Should I size down? <laughs> no. Okay, up next, a vintage style jumper. Well, they're all kind of vintage style because that's my vibe. But this one is also from Daisy Street, which did the um, green horse jumper. The horse wasn't green, the jumper was green and the horse was brown, brown, brown. So we've got this funky colored purple jumper with green neon writing, which I thought was so cute. It says Brooklyn, New York on it. Sweet. This one is also in a size 12, big and baggy and oversized. I'm gonna ban myself from saying the words big, baggy and oversized in this video, which basically means the video will be filmed mute. I just thought I can't get to New York right now, so I'm gonna just buy jumpers that say New York or Brooklyn or anything like that. What do you think about the color? I think it's the neon green, slime. It reminds me of slime. But yeah, we'll see what this one looks like. Really, why don't I learn? I'm trying on jumpers or like tops. Don't tie my hair up. I just really haven't got ready today. Like it's been a bit of a stressful day. I've had a bad day. So I literally just didn't even get changed out of my leggings and I haven't done my hair. <laughs> what do you think about this one? Oh, I love it. I love all jumpers. I have a problem. This is the length, big and baggy and oversized. No, no. And then I would do the flip with it, the tuck. The Friar Tuck. Hey, a Robin Hood reference sneaking in. What do you think about this one? I actually really like it. I don't know, I'm not really like a bright purple fan. I don't know how I feel about it. What do you guys think? If I come a bit closer, you can see the writing. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting confused already. So we'll move on to something completely different. Jokes, it's a jumper. So this one is from Reclaimed Vintage and it has what is one of these ones that's got like a old fashioned, old fashioned? No, what's a, oh, shush train. Like a classical painting on it. This one says sacred and profane love on it. That's nice. Titan, 1514. So I've got a New York jumper which is from 1919 and this one which is 1514. Love a bit of a date, you know, a date stamp on a jumper. Fabulous. I got this in a medium and it's a cropped jumper, but I've got it big and baggy oversized. <laughs> BBO. <sighs> I'm going insane already and I've only been in the house by myself for a few days. So yeah, we'll try this on and see what you think. Okay, I love this one. This is such a cute like cropped length as well. Shush trains. If you were wearing this with like mum jeans or like skinny black jeans or like even, I mean it looks super cute with leggings super comfy i like the fit of it and i love the natural crop of it it's meant to be very cropped it's probably meant to be like that because i've oversized and it is down here but yeah and i like the the faded painting picture vibe let me know what you think about this one all of these will be linked below i don't know if i said that i mean you know that right you've been here before next up we have this jumper from urban outfitters and it's from that brand that i can't say and i get stressed about saying it every time it's um that yeah it, it, it's france <laughs> sorry butchering language right left and center i've got this one in a size small and we will try it on it's like this nice like washed out gray purpley color very cute this is very similar to the other one that i got from urban outfitters with the kind of um drawstring vibe this one's actually got one of these funky little clips oh practical hold on a second oh ping again would be really cute to wear with leggings Oh, I'm so blue today. Leggings, jeans, anything like this. I actually really like the colour. It also has matching tracksuit bottoms. And yes, yes, I did buy them. I can see them. And I may wear matching tracksuit bottoms and pretend I'm going to like the parent trap camp. Even though I should be wearing green and then I would look really cool. So yeah, what do you think about this one? Really cute. I really like it. And this is just such a basic that you can 
wear out with like a fashion piece rather than just like a slob jumper. Okay, next up I have a vintage style. It's not vintage at all, it's a Nike jumper. Guys, let's open this up to discussion. Do you say Nike or Nike? Option one is Nike, option two, Nike. I mix it up. I mixed it up, I don't want to offend people. I picked up this horribly bright yellow jumper, but I just thought if you put this through the wash a few times, it's got the, the tick there, but if you put this through the wash a few times, it would look really faded and cool. I love bright yellow at the moment going into spring. So I thought this would look so cute with a pair of like cropped denim shorts in summer, or like even now in spring, with a pair of faded blue jeans. I thought it would look so cute. This was sold out in quite a lot of sizes, so I got an extra large. <laughs> I'm a joke, but I thought this would be so cute as like a massive oversized slob hoodie or just to wear it with like a pair of cycling shorts like I am today. So we'll try this one on. I think this was also quite expensive, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, I actually love the colour. This, yeah, it just gave me massive like vintage style vibes when I saw it online. Let me tuck it in here. I love Nike jumpers. So yeah, what do you think? Is it hideous? Does it look a bit like vile? I'm not sure. God, I'm so pale. I need a tan. This would look really cute if I had a tan. I'm not gonna get one of those in this country, am I? I mean, did I need an extra large? No, but this is just so cute for like that massive oversized fit, especially with my oversized denim jacket in one of my What's New on the High Street videos. It would look so cute. Oh my God. A pair of white jeans. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can see it. I love it. I've changed my mind. I love it. I don't care about the color. Um, okay, we're gonna stick to a yellow vibe. <laughs> Sorry. This is from Lazy Oaf. So it's not that cheap. Lazy Oaf is quite an expensive brand, actually. It's like a vintage style brand, blah, blah, blah. I got this one in a size made in Portugal. No, in a size small. So it's like a nice oversized fit anyway. So I didn't oversize the oversize, which is rare for me. Normally I do. If I come a bit closer, I'll show you the pattern on it. It just says lazy with some flowers. I'm lazy. So I thought it was cute. Anyone that's lazy and wants a lazy flowery jumper, this is the one for you guys. So let's try it on. Oh, that really ruined my hair because it's got a really tight neck hole. What a weird, so much fluff everywhere. What a weird feature of a sweatshirt to have a tight neck hole. Can you see it's very tight, very weird. Lazy, 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 lazy. But yeah, I actually really like this. It's very cottony, but kind of has like a towel feeling on the inside. So really it's like not too hot. Perfect for spring if you're like, when the seasons get a little bit warmer. I think Lazy Oak is quite expensive. So, I've got you covered. If you like the vibe of like the wording with the flowers, I picked up a similar option from ASOS, which, oh, it's actually from Daisy Street. So we've got three Daisy Street jumpers. This one is in a size 12, classic me, but it's kind of like a similar style. It's got, it says Detroit on it with some flowers, but that's similar to the Lazy. I'm not sure about the color. I think it's a bit too oatmeal-y, but we'll see. Bit of a porridge vibe. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. You just tuck this in. I mean, it's cute. It's a sweatshirt. I would wear it. That's what I have to say about it, really. I don't know. What do you guys think? A bit boring. A bit plain. It just kind of, it just kind of, it just kind of, it just kind of, it's just a, no. I think no. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm confused. Let me know below which is your favourite hoodie. Please, please, please. It will help me so much. Okay, next up is a hoodie that I'm so excited to try on. This is probably one of the ones I've been most excited about. So this one's from Boohoo and it is a size 10. And it says Atlanta, well, Atlanta, Georgia, but it says Atlanta, GA. And I really like this one. So it's a 10, but it's massively oversized. And this is going to be perfect for chill days with leggings. Because it's black, it's got the red and white on it, but it's just like a nice casual super chill jumper. Obviously the opposite of everything else I've shown you, which is not a super cash oversized jumper. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. This is probably my favourite. I'm getting major wildcat vibes. So this is the length of it if you wore it loose. Super cute, big and baggy, but then obviously I would do the tuck or I would tuck it into like tracksuit bottoms or jeans or whatever. And I really, really like this one. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Pray tell. This is really nice, it's not too thick. It's, I love the dropped shoulders on it. Some of these have like very rigid shoulders and I really like the dropped shoulders on this. You do not need to oversize on this. This is a 10 and it is massive. This one is a Playboy jumper, which I just thought was so, so cute. So yeah, this is a nice cropped little Playboy jumper. I thought it was super cute. It does have matching tracksuit bottoms online. I got this on ASOS. I got this one in a size 10. It's from Misguided, but I bought it on ASOS, but I'm sure they will be on Misguided as well. So we'll try this little cute number on. Okay, so this is the first time I haven't like massively oversized. <laughs> um, this is super, super cute. I really like this actually. I don't really like Playboy. I don't own any Playboy stuff, but I just like the color of this. I thought it was quite cute. 
cute little crop and I liked the Playboy tracksuit bottoms as well. Oh my god, what's happened to me? Let me know what you guys think about this one as well. Now we're going to stick on a pink vibe very quickly. I wanted to show you this jumper. I don't know if I like it or not, but I really like the vibe of it. So it's a pink tie-dye hoodie. It's from a brand called New Girl Order. I hadn't heard of them before. I know, I'm sure that makes me really uncool. Tie-dye is very in. I love pink. But the thing about this jumper, it has like commandments on it. I'll read them to you. And it says, the 10 commandments of New Girl Order. Thou shalt not apologize for being oneself. Thou shalt stay hydrated. Thou shalt not text one's ex. Thou shalt not worry too much. Thou shalt have patience with oneself and others. Thou shalt find one's people. Thou shalt never underestimate the power of self-love. Thou shalt be the rich man your mother wanted you to marry. Thou shalt go there, do that, and buy the t-shirt. And thou shalt join the New Girl Order. And I just thought it was like a really cute jumper. Like it made me really happy when I saw it online. I like the hood and all that jazz. So let me have a look at what size. I got this in a size 10. It's big and oversized. I love the tie-dye pattern. Pattern. let's try this on okay so i actually thought i was gonna hate it and i kind of love it like this is like the perfect motivational hoodie to wear if you're working from home look at it it's so cute it's got the pocket here which i really like i like that it's got a hood i like everything i love the commandments can you see them i thought this was going to be just like a kind of joke one to show you but i really like it okay one more jumper to show you which is this one this is also from it's france it's France, it's France from Urban Outfitters. And this one, I'm not sure about it. It's a small to medium, it's like 46 pounds. It's quite expensive. And yes, again, I'm sticking to a tie-dye route, which is very hot right now, guys, very hot. So um, yeah, I saw this on the website, the model looked cool, and I bet it looks stupid on me now that I've seen the colors in real life, but we'll try it on. Oh my God, look how much tie-dye there is on the screen. Oh, I don't know, I'm very torn. I don't know if I love it or hate it. It's a nice length, it like goes like cinches in here, so. All the others are massive, big and baggy ones, and this one's just a bit not big and baggy. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. It's got the brand logo in like bright neon here. I don't know, but I kind of liked this one. Or does this just make me look very hippie and cool? which I am not. So yeah, I don't know how many hoodies that was. I think that was about 12. I'm so sorry, maybe 13. I'm sorry for the overload. I hope that you are not like, oh my God, Jessica, please wear something else. But yeah, I just wanted to show you my favorite hoodies right now that I found online. Everything you can buy online because I'm not advising anyone to go shopping right now. But if you want to do a bit of online ordering, I will link everything below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow I will be showing you, I think I'm doing um, my favorite spring jackets that I currently own that in my wardrobe. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. I'm going to some of my favorite jackets that I own. Please, please, please let me know your favorites below. If you want to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video, I would love you forever. And if you want to come and say hi on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favorite hoodie and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.